Hello everyone, I'd just like to show you how easy it is to build mobile phone applications using Ember.js and PhoneGap. Let's get started by creating a folder for our demo application. Next up, we're going to clone the git repo for the Ember PhoneGap start kit. The ultimate goal is to create a directory structure which looks something like this. A top level folder will contain a folder for the actual Ember application as well as folders for each of the target mobile phone platforms. Let's just wait for this cloning to finish and then we can go and have a look and see what's inside that actual folder. So first thing to do is we're going to start up the rake pipeline server. This is a tool which we're going to use to concatenate the JavaScript, handlebars, templates and CSS files necessary to build up the application. We've started a, a server on port 1992 and you can see that uh, when we access that URL that there's a very simple Ember application with two routes and two corresponding um, templates that can be displayed. But now let's get this wrap, wrapped up in a phone gap wrapper and deploy it onto iOS. So we're going to go back up to the top level folder. Now I've already downloaded the phone gap uh, distribution. So I'm just going to copy that from my local uh, downloads folder, but you're going to have to go and download this from the internet. Uh, next, we're just going to unzip that folder. Now phone gap comes with a number of binary tools that we can use. We're going to take advantage of one of these uh, in order to create the iOS wrapper for our application. So in that phone gap folder in the lib iOS bin, we're going to use the create command to create a local wrapper. In the iOS folder, we're going to give it a package and we're going to give a name to that Ember application. So that's created our Ember application. Now, if we say we can now use the tools that have been built in there to build that little demonstration application, we'll leave that to go. And the next step, of course, will be to deploy it to the simulator, which is also quite easy with the supply tools from PhoneGap. So we should. So you can see that is the default um, demonstration application over here that you get with uh, a phone gap. So next step is to uh, get this application is to get our Ember application wrapped up as a phone gap app. Now one thing that I'd like to show you is with that um, rake pipeline build tool. It'll actually respond to any changes being made to files within the application. So we're going to go and change one of the templates. Um, let's change the index template. And we're just going to go in and we're going to say from the demo. We're going to save that. And let's go and have a look at this application here. Do a little refresh. And you'll see that the index page now says that it's from the demo. So what we've got is technology that will enable us to automatically build all of our uh, constituent parts and, and put it all together. And the next step is to, uh, is to use this script, which comes with the Ember Phone Gap Starter Kit. And, and that is going to uh, deploy the local Ember application into the iOS uh, Phone Gap app, which is sitting alongside it. It does assume uh, that we it, it does assume the directory structure that is described in the documentation and you can see over here that uh, that application is now available on the uh, on the iPhone simulator uh, you can now go right ahead and do you know and, and carry on with the cycle modifying files building up your Ember application and deploying it with ease onto a simulator I hope this helps uh, you get started with uh, developing PhoneGap uh, based Ember.js applications. And if you've got any feedback, please do uh, provide it to me. Thank you. Bye-bye.